Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I wanted to take you through some of the equipment that I use um, to put these vlogs together. So I thought I'd start off with the sort of necessary stuff, but isn't that imperative, and that is my accessories. The first accessory on the list is this Star 63 tripod. Now, okay, I'll be honest with you, you can get a lot better tripods than this. I'm currently using one right now to actually film this. My camera's on top of it. You can get better than this, but I think if you're starting out vlogging and you've not got the biggest budget in the world, I would definitely recommend these. They're real simple to use. They get high enough for what most people are gonna need and they're incredibly cheap. Uh, all the links to the equipment that I use will be down in the video description below. But yeah, Star 63 tripod, definitely a must. The next accessory on the list is this. Now, this is from Amazon Basics. Um, I've had this in a previous video because someone asked me what I was using to hold my camera up. First day I got this, I pulled it out of the packet, opened the legs like that, and it cracked. And I've had to, since then, gaffer tape it up. I don't know if you can see the gaffer tape. Let me yeah, focus on that. I mean, it was nine pound. I can't really complain, but I just think that Amazon should be doing a little bit better. The reason why I bought the nine pound one and didn't go for the, the Joby pod or the Gorilla pod is just literally the reason. I, I just couldn't afford it. Um, but if you don't mind buying a new one of these every couple of months, then I recommend the Amazon Basics. Uh, again, link will be in the description below for this as well. A very important accessory, the bag. This is what all of the gear goes into. Can't leave home without this. Um, this is a Yaziko. It's a comfortable bag, I'll give you that much. And it actually come with a, a tray compartment on the inside, which I've taken out. So you could put your camera in down the bottom there. Um, it does the job. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than I would like it to be, but it fits the basic stuff that I need. And under here, you can actually attach your, your tripod. Oh, and there's a secret compartment back here if you want to stick in, you know, mobile phone, anything you need that you don't want anyone getting hold of, right in there. Don't know why they've got that when you're going to have at least a, a 500 pound camera in the bag. Makes no sense, but yeah. Another incredibly important accessory. I don't know if it counts as an accessory. Since getting this, I can't believe I didn't have one. It is a SD card holder. And the reason why I say this is very important is because the amount of times that I've gone out and my SD card is sitting indoors next to my SD card reader on my computer and I'm like, ah, damn it. So now what I do is I keep this with my bag full of the SD cards and yeah, it's just, if I'm ever forgetful and don't pick up an SD, funnily enough, I did it right now. My SD card is downstairs next to my computer. I've come upstairs, turned the camera on, there was no SD card, but I had this in my bag, I was good to go. Uh, I got this from Wish, it was a pound, so yeah. Right, moving on to, if that was accessories, I guess this would be uh, secondary cameras. First secondary camera is this. This is a GoPro Hero 4 session. I believe it's a four. I can't really tell. It's either a four or a five. Um, it's a tiny little camera. Put your SD card in there. I've got to be honest with you, I've probably used this twice. Um, so if anyone is after a GoPro, um, contact me below and I'll probably be able to vlog this to you for a, a reasonable price. Second is my old vlogging setup. This is a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Um, I did have the mic that is currently on that camera sitting on top of this as well, so that was protruding out. But this is how I used to vlog. So it just goes to show, guys, that it don't really matter what you use. Look how bad that setup is, you know? Look at that. This was actually uh, the GoPro Jam. I believe this stand was called, and it had like a clamp at the bottom here, but that broke off because just like every bit of plastic GoPro's ever put together, it doesn't last five minutes. Um, but yeah, this used to be the vlogging setup before I moved up to a DSLR. So yeah, GoPro Hero 4 Black. Now this is, this has been used in my latest vlog. Um, it is the GoPro Hero 5 Black and the Karma Grip, so, do all this wonderful gimbal stuff like this. Uh, this was actually used and I still do think this is probably my most impressive piece of gear. I just love this gimbal. I just wish I had a gimbal like this for my uh, DSLR. There is a few downsides to this though. 
the audio from it is dreadful. Um, you can't be using this and capturing good audio, so I would only use this for, you know, them cinematic B-roll shots, or if you don't mind, if you have another, you know, way to record your audio. Um, otherwise, yeah, avoid this like the plague. And speaking of uh, external microphones, I do own the Zoom H1 uh, with a with a lav mic. Have used this before in the past. Not really vlogging related. Um, you never know. I suppose you could use it if you wanted like a second person to be mic'd up or something. But I've not really used this for vlogging. But I've got it nonetheless. And obviously, last but by no means least, is my main setup. <laughs> is my 16 Mark II uh, with a 24 millimeter EF Canon lens and the Rode Mic Go. It's not the Pro, it's the Go. I believe the real difference between the two sets of audio isn't drastically different. Um, the thing for me is I would forget to turn that Pro on and off. Um, I actually borrowed the Pro uh, off of everything Taylor made uh, when I was doing Vickers Picnic last year and the amount of times I was recording and I forgot to switch it on. And that's like, you look back at the footage, you're like, oh no, all that great footage. I mean, I did a whole interview with a band um, and I just forgot to turn the mic on. So the whole interview was lost. So for me being a bit stupid, that mic sort of serves its purpose and I can't go wrong. You plug it in, it's recording, job done. So guys, that's my day 31, just showing you my equipment and my gear. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more of the content on my channel, please do hit that like button and subscribe. If not, no dramas. You know, if you don't like it, dislike it. Let me know. Write in the comments below. Your shit. So, um, until tomorrow, thanks for watching and uh, just go if you need me.